Let's talk a little bit about bandsaw safety. This is one of those machines where uh, you tend to take for granted because it's 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 a pretty simple machine and it's it seems to be pretty safe and generally it is. There aren't a lot of injuries on bandsaws, but the problem is when there are injuries, they're pretty severe. Um, usually, if you slip and you get your hand into a blade on a bandsaw like this, I mean this is a this is a five tooth per inch blade and it's it's going at a uh, couple hundred surface surface feet per minute. You get your hand in that and it's it's not going to cut your hand. It's probably going to take a finger off or a thumb, usually a thumb in case of a bandsaw. So uh, you need to uh, treat it with respect and, and exercise a few common safety practices when you're using it. And I'm, I'm going to share those with you now. Uh, first off, if you're cutting say, a piece of plate stock like this, okay, it's a half inch or five eighths of an inch thick, there is no need to have the blade guard any more than about three quarters of an inch off the table. Right, you want to get this guard cover up as much as as much as the blade as possible with the uh, the guide and and the, the guard on the front of it. So drop it down on your part, raise it up just enough to clear it, and cut it there. That covers up a lot of the blade. So if there if you happen to slip or something, the chances of getting in the blade are going to be a lot a lot less. Um, another thing, um, when you're sawing a piece like this, this is pretty common. Just sawing plate stock. Keep your thumbs out of the way, okay? Don't hold the part like this and push on it because you're pushing your thumbs right toward the blade. All right? Get them over to the side. You know, get get your hands as far away from the blade as possible and, and get them behind your fingers. So if you slip, your hand will go by the blade. Whereas like this, if you slip, you're going to put your thumb in the blade. Um, in college, I had an instructor that uh, put on a little bandsaw demonstration, and, and what he did is he, he used a piece of uh, uh, beef shank from the butcher. Okay, about the size of your arm or so. And uh, he fired the bandsaw up and he just started taking slices off this beef, beef shank. As fast as he could push it in, it was slicing it off. So, you know, if you slip, like, like I said, if you slip and you put your, your hand into the blade with any force, it's, it's going to be a serious injury. Um, I never forgot that demonstration to this day. It, it was very impressive. I'm not going to do it on mine because it, it had to make a heck of a mess and I don't feel like cleaning it up. So... Just take my word for it. If you want to see how a bandsaw cuts meat, go to the butcher and watch them watch them saw up some some meat on a bandsaw. It's the same, pretty much the same thing as you're using in your shop. Um, another thing, it doesn't hurt to use a push stick. You know, when you're sawing off a piece of plate like this, don't even put your hands on the plate. Use a piece of wood. Okay, it's a lot more comfortable to hold and to get your hands farther away from the blade. So those are those are just a few hints. Um, one other thing, uh, um, if you have a vertical bandsaw like this, there will come a time when you might be tempted to cut off a piece of uh, round stock. Okay, you know, it seems like a pretty easy thing to do. You know, just follow all the safety procedures. You know, get get your guard down as close as possible and just slice it off. No big deal, right? Wrong. It's a it's a really good way to get bit. Is cutting round stock on a band on a vertical bandsaw like this, and uh, let me show you why. All right, what happens is on a, on a round part like this, you know, especially if you're coming in here like this, you know, you're trying to saw it off. What happens is when the blade starts to touch on this surface, it's so far off the table, it's going to want to rotate the part. When it does that. The blade's going to bite into the to the part of the section of the curve above, and it's going to catch. When it does that, it'll viciously spin the part. Okay? When it does that, um, chances are pretty good it's going to you're going to your hand's going to go over the top of it, and you're going to go into the blade. So let me show you. Don't try this at home. Uh, I'm going to get my hands well out of the way, and I'll show you what happens when you try and cut a piece of round stock on a vertical bandsaw. Okay, just get started in there and it doesn't take much at all to make the part spin. And you can imagine what would happen if you were holding it hand, one hand on each side of the blade like this and it bent in like that and spun. It's going to put your hand right into the blade. So, you can saw, you can saw a round stock on a band saw like this, but you just have to take a little precaution. Get yourself a clamp. C clamp or a can't twist clamp or something like that. Clamp it on the round stock and rest that clamp on the table. Okay, now you got a good, a good uh, 
brace on the part to keep it from rotating. And it'll cut off with ease. grabbing. No bloodshed. That's about all I have on the bandsaw. We'll see you next time.